Is your little one getting ready for the map test in kindergarten or first grade? Curious about what's ahead? We're here to guide you through everything you need to know to help your child shine. So, why is your child taking the NWEA map test? This test is a valuable tool that helps teachers understand your child's current academic level. It's not just another test. It's a way to see how your child is growing academically and to identify high ability or gifted students who might need more challenging material. The MAP test is unique because it's adaptive. But what does that mean? Simply put, the test adjusts to your child's ability. If they answer a question correctly, the next one might be a bit harder. If they miss one, the next question could be easier. This way, the test zeroes in on your child's precise level, making sure they are both challenged and supported. The NWEA MAP test for kindergarten and first grade focuses on math and reading. It's designed to measure your child's progress in key areas like counting, understanding basic math concepts, recognizing letters, and early reading skills. Since many students at these grades can't read fluently yet, each question on the test is recorded, allowing your child to hear the instructions and questions. This ensures they can fully understand and respond to each question, even if they're not yet strong readers. And now, let's dive into some sample questions. We've prepared examples from both the math and reading sections that come in three levels. Below grade level, at or slightly above grade level, and above grade level. These examples will give you a clear idea of what your child will encounter. If you'd like, Please call your child over and try these questions together. It's a great way to help them feel confident and comfortable with the test format. Here's the first question, which is considered easy since it's below grade level. What is the shape of the book? A. Circle B. Triangle C. Square D. Rectangle The correct answer is D. Rectangle the book is shaped like a rectangle because it has two long sides and two shorter sides. The next question is at a medium difficulty level since it's at or slightly above grade level. Which of these is a pentagon? The correct answer is C. A pentagon is a shape with five sides and five corners. Look at the shapes shown. The third shape has five sides and five corners, which makes it a pentagon. The other shapes have a different number of sides. The following question is considered hard because it's above grade level. Look at the pie chart below. Which fruit is the most popular? A, apples. B, oranges. C, bananas. D, strawberries. The correct answer is A, apples. A pie chart shows how many people like each fruit by using slices of a pie. The bigger the slice, the more people like that fruit. Look at the pie chart and see which slice is the biggest. The biggest slice is for apples, which means apples are the most popular fruit. If you're finding this video helpful, we'd really appreciate it if you could like this video and subscribe to our channel. It helps us keep creating helpful content like this and reach more parents just like you. Now let's continue to the reading practice questions. The following question is considered easy which word is an adjective in this sentence? The green apples are on the table. A. Green. B. Apple. C. R. D. Table. The correct answer is A. Green. The word green is an adjective because it tells us what color the apples are. Adjectives are like words that give us more details about things, making the sentences more interesting and helping us picture what's happening in the story. The next question is, at a medium difficulty level, which word has more than one meaning? A. Chair B. Dog C. Bank D. Pencil The correct answer is bank. The word bank can mean different things. It can be the place where you keep your money, or it can be the side of a river. Knowing that some words can have more than one meaning helps you understand what you're reading depending on how the word is used in a sentence. Here is the last practice question, which is considered hard. Listen to the following short story. I couldn't believe my eyes when I saw the surprise party my friends had planned for me. I felt so happy and excited. From whose point of view is this story told? A, 
a friend's point of view. B. The narrator's point of view. C. The parent's point of view. D. The teacher's point of view. The correct answer is B. The narrator's point of view. The story is told from the narrator's point of view because it uses I to tell what happened. The narrator is like the storyteller, and knowing who is telling the story helps you understand how they feel and what they think about what's happening. How did your child find the questions? Was it fun, challenging, or maybe a little bit of both? Remember, the more they practice, the more confident they'll become. After your child completes the test, you'll receive a score report. The main score you'll see is the RIT score, which stands for Rash Unit. It's a way to measure your child's academic growth over time. You might also see percentiles, which compare your child's performance to others in the same grade. For kindergarten, the average RIT score is around 140 to 150. A score of 155 to 160 is considered high, while a score above 160 may indicate that your child is gifted. For first grade, the average RAT score is typically between 160 and 170. A score of 175 to 180 is considered high, and a score above 180 suggests that your child could be performing at a gifted level. To give your child the best chance of success, we've created the most comprehensive practice package available online with over 350 practice questions that align with the MAP test topics and common core standards. Each question is recorded and comes with child-friendly explanations to make learning fun and engaging. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you found this video helpful. We hope you learned a lot and feel more prepared for the MAP test. Good luck, and we wish your child all the best.